Hello, Chris Green here with the Flood Insurance Guru, and today we're talking about the importance of reporting flood damage right away. And today we're going to be talking about flood insurance, and we're going to be talking about disaster assistance. When it comes to flood insurance in general, you have about 60 days to provide what's called a proof of loss. Now, this is where you suffered a loss on your property and you had flood insurance. You know, the insurance company has to have this in order to make payments, get things taken care of and repaired for you. However, the other way that you can put a timely manner is flood damage being reported for disaster assistance. You see, communities only have a certain amount of time to get their flood damage in to see if a community may possibly qualify for disaster assistance. Now, this could be public assistance. This could be individual assistance. You know, public assistance might be public facilities. Individual assistance might be additional living expenses where you have a place to live because these things generally aren't covered by a national flood insurance program policy. It could also be disaster assistance on your property, which could play a big role. So this is where it's really important to get these things in if you know that you've suffered flood damage. And we're seeing this a lot in areas like Pelham, Alabama and Hoover, Alabama right now that had more than 10 to 13 inches of rain within one day in October of 2021. So if you've got questions on reporting flood damage, should you report flood damage? How do you report flood damage either to your insurance company or even to your local community so they can document this? Click below to visit our website, floodinsuranceguru.com. Remember, we have an educational background, flood mitigation, which means we can help you understand flood risk like this right here. Your flood insurance and mitigate your property long-term. Thank you.